Week number six of the free masterclass, how to create realistic orchestral mock-ups. Many, many people joined this free masterclass during the last couple of weeks. And if this is your first time watching a video of this masterclass, there are five videos before this one. They are all on my channel and you can still download the project files, the original MIDI mockup and the weekly updated project file so you can follow me along while we rebuild my orchestral music track show opener and in this video we get personal because we are going to talk about mic settings hi there this is david from ghost rider music and i create videos about how to write music orchestral music for film and video so if you want to get better in this in orchestration in creating more realistic orchestral mock-ups then start now by subscribing and clicking that little bell so what about microphone settings well when used effectively microphone balance can be very useful to get a certain depth or focus in your composition and it's very common that the orchestral libraries, the professional orchestral libraries, give you three options. A closed mic setting, a Deca tree microphone setting, or an ambient microphone setting. So the closed mics, also known as the spots, are the microphones that are positioned the closest to the actual instruments. So they will give you the greatest amount of details and focus of the instrument itself. And it, most of the time it's a kind of bitey sound, which is ideally to use for fast and quick ostinatos cause of the focus and a lot of amount of detail in the recorded samples. The Deca tree mic above the conductor's head. This microphone setting will give you a great amount of imaging, the ambience of the room with the focus of the instruments, which is enough. So this is a very common used microphone setting in creating orchestral mock-ups. And the last one, the ambient mics, are the microphones positioned at the back of the room. So these are the microphones that will give you a lot of ambient sound, a lot of depth in your composition, but won't give you an um, amount of detail of the instruments from the orchestra. But what can you do with all these different microphone settings? And here it gets personal because you can play along with these microphone settings to get a microphone balance that you think sounds the best for your composition. And there is no good or bad. There is no wrong or right. This is personal taste. S some people truly love the wet sound, the lots of amount of reverb that will give you the uh, imaging of a great sounding stage where the orchestra is recorded. Other people do love, love a much more drier sound, which will give you the uh, image of a much smaller room, but much more in detail and focus on the actual instruments. And that's a matter of taste. That's a matter of what fits your composition the best. Of course, I will share with you my microphone settings in the updated weekly project file, which you can download, link is in the video description. So you can see what I have done for the music track show opener. And to make it a little bit more concrete, Let's dive into the MIDI mockup uh, in Logic Pro X. So let's look at some microphone settings which I have used for the music track show opener. For example, the flute which is playing the staccato notes. I have used a tree mic and a closed mic setting, a little bit of the closed microphone setting. Why that? Because I just wanted a little bit more detail and focused in the staccato notes. So you will see that I will that I have dialed in some close mic sound combined with a tree mic sound on all the fast staccato ostinato notes in this MIDI mockup. The the Celesta. Um, is 
three micro microphone settings. I have used the tree mic. I have used some ambient mics to uh, get a really good ambient sound, the sound of the hole, but I also wanted a little bit more detail. So this is a quite funny thing. I have used three microphone settings for the Celesta. Yes. The um, violins, for example, playing the long consordino, um, to get that lush sound, I have used the tree mics in combination with the ambient mics. So to get a wide ambient sound on the violins, really important to get that lush sound, which we all love from the Hollywood films. And the um, uh, ostinados, uh, like I just told you, close mic settings with uh, some, some Deca Tree uh, microphone settings. So with this video, we are at the end of building up our orchestral template. We did the panning, we did the balancing, the EQ cleanup. We talked about timing, delay, and this week about microphone settings. And if you have applied all these subjects to your orchestral mock-up, which you have downloaded in our first week of this free masterclass, then it should be sounding much more better than without. And next week I will be talking about orchestration because I made some important choices within this composition which I think it is important to address and to talk about. Because I could have made other decisions which would have given a different sound, a different uh, end result. After next week video about orchestration, I will be talking about mixing. And that are some very interesting videos, multiple videos uh, about how to mix the woodwinds, how to mix certain brass instruments, the strings, the fast strings, the, the long strings, etc. So I hope you appreciated this video. If you do, uh, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done already, and I will see you next Thursday.